fate of three Twin Cities men accused of trying to leave Minnesota to join ISIS is now in the hands of a jury. If Abdirahman Daoud, Mohammed Farah, and Gulat Omar are found guilty on all counts, they could be sentenced to life in prison. Esme Murphy was in court today as the case went to the jury, and she joins us now from outside the federal courthouse in Minneapolis. Esme? Well, Amelia, I can tell you the jury deliberated just over two hours before being sent home just a few minutes ago. They have a lot to go through. More than 300 exhibits and three weeks of testimony to evaluate. Key testimony, though, came from three members of the plot who are now cooperating with the prosecution. The three defendants are charged in 10 separate counts. The most serious count charges all three with conspiring to travel overseas to commit murder. The count carries a maximum sentence of life in prison. The three cooperating witnesses in the case, Abdullahi Youssef, Abdi Rahman Bashir, and Abdi Rizak Warsami, all testified that the defendants knew they were going to travel to Syria to kill for ISIS. The three defendants also are charged with conspiracy to provide material support to a terror group and attempting to provide material support. Those crimes carry maximum sentences of 15 and 20 years. Abdi Rahman Daoud is also charged with perjury. Mohammed Farah is charged with making false statements to FBI agents. And Gulat Omar is also charged with student loan fraud. The prosecution again today urged jurors to listen to the secret recordings made by the cooperating witness, Abdi Rahman Bashir, who has been paid $119,000 by the FBI for his work. The defense once again stressed the recordings amount to youthful one upsmanship. Gulat Omar's attorney, Glenn Bruder, told jurors, in whose world don't teenage boys brag, boast, make stupid pronouncements, and say things they really don't mean. Bruder also made an impassioned plea to jurors to not base their verdict on what he called the elephant in the room, which Bruder said is the fear of terrorism. Jurors have been shown brutal ISIS execution videos that the defendants all watched and even laughed at. Prosecutor Julie Allen, in her closing argument, fired back, these are not children, they are grown men, they chose ISIL. Now, the jury will begin deliberating tomorrow at 8.30 in the morning. The attorneys in this case have been told that when the verdict comes in, they will be given just 30 minutes to get back to the courtroom to hear it. All right, Esme, thank you.